New revelations tonight about the Russian internet ads that targeted Baltimore. We're now getting a look at some of the deceptive Russian ads that flooded social media to influence the 2016 presidential election. WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett has more on how the ads were designed to stir up anger. Ava Joy. Vic, good evening to you. Representatives from Facebook, Twitter, and Google are being forced to answer a simple question. Why didn't they realize what the Russians were doing before it was too late? Three internet giants, Facebook, Twitter, and Google, have bowed to public pressure. They're now sharing how Russia infiltrated and abused their platform. Facebook revealed that Russians paid for ads like this one, which featured Freddie Gray. They ran in markets like Baltimore and Ferguson. The goal was to stir up racial tensions. No, I'm not surprised at all. A cyber expert in Baltimore County, Stephen Terramino, says the Russians' methods were simple, but extremely effective before and after the presidential election. These ads were really divisive, and the whole idea was to further separate our communities and cause people to almost have a hatred towards one another. Facebook revealed that ads from a Russian group potentially reached 126 million users, and at least 3,000 ads were linked to that one group. Now Facebook, Twitter, and Google have been in the hot seat for not doing enough to stop these Russian-generated ads from taking root on social media. Wednesday, lawmakers in Capitol Hill grilled representatives from all three companies. You cannot allow what's going on against the United States of America. And while ads like this one have been scrubbed from the social media platforms, Terramina says the Russian intrusion in the American system should be enough to put the companies on notice. Then comes a situation like is happening now, and someone learns how to abuse that technology. So now they realize we have to do something, otherwise no one will trust our services. And now Terramino says the responsibility should not just be on these big tech companies, but also on users who should be more critical. Live tonight, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ. Avajoy, thank you. During the hearing on Capitol Hill, lawmakers urged the companies to do more to investigate how their platforms were manipulated.